In November of 2020, the Ethiopian National Defense Force and allied militias began a genocidal campaign in the Tigray region of Ethiopia. Since then, food supplies and crops have been devastated, civilians have been bombed, mass executed, and rape has been used systematically as a weapon of war. Refugees have been prevented from fleeing conflict zones. The government's mass media and war machine has painted all Tigray people as synonymous with the TPLF political party, launching an all-out struggle against both. In response to this violence, a decentralized global effort is underway to stop these atrocities. To support the people of Tigray, we must build real solidarity beyond borders and nations. There are many ways that action can be taken to dismantle the Ethiopian state's ability to continue this war. One way is to cut into the state's most significant source of direct funding and foreign currency reserves, coffee. One of the biggest buyers of Ethiopian coffee in the world is Starbucks. This major corporation engages in direct trade with the Ethiopian state, putting millions of dollars into the government's coffers. The time has come to take action to disrupt this flow of resources. Comrades are calling for a global week of action against Starbucks to demand they cease the purchase of Ethiopian coffee while the military occupation of Tigray continues. From May 1st to May 7th, we encourage solidarity in the form of a diversity of tactics from comrades worldwide. What can you do to take direct action against Starbucks and spread the message about stopping the genocide in Tigray? Flyer, drop banners, set up and hold picket lines, organize a large march locally, or organize small autonomous actions against a Starbucks store at night. Is your city home to an Eritrean or Ethiopian embassy or consulate? Consider whether you might include it in your action. 